rolling in my 5.0 with my rag top down so my hair can blow. The girl is on standby, waving just to say hi. Did you stop? No, I just rolled by. That's a keeper. Whoa, I'm so good. Hello, boys and girls. Greetings kids, and welcome to Sock Person Science. Hello boys and girls. Professor, what do you know about the history of science? Everything there is to know. I have a degree in science. Then you will know what people used to think about the relationship between weight and gravity. Yes. People used to think that heavier objects would always fall faster than light objects. Big things would fall faster than small things. Well, that makes sense. Why do we not think that anymore? In the 1500s, Galileo Galilei discovered that everything falls at the same speed. He proved it by dropping big and small weights off a tower, and they all landed at the same time. So he proved that gravity makes everything fall at the same speed just by dropping things? Yes. Specifically, under Earth's gravity, any mass will accelerate approximately 10 meters per second squared. Well, that sounds easy enough. Let's do a demo of our own to show how things of different weights all fall at the same speed. Sounds great. Here, I have a single sheet of paper. Here I have a book. It's got hundreds of pages, so obviously weighs a lot more than the single sheet of paper. You might think that the book will fall faster because it's heavier, but as you will see, they will both fall with the same acceleration and land at exactly the same time. Huh. I think you did it wrong. Uh, oh, I know. I'll, I'll hold them with the other hands. I just, I gotta switch. Okay, here we go. What the heck? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Change sides. Okay. dropping them on exactly the same spot. Yes, that's it. They need to use the same piece of gravity. Here we go. Okay, so was Galileo wrong? Or is the gravity in here just that wobbly? I think you were messing around. <laughs> A little. Yeah, see the thing is there's one more factor that determines how fast things fall to the Earth. And that's air. Just like water pushes up on an object that is sinking, air pushes up on an object that is falling. This is how a parachute works. Because of that, the bigger the surface area of an object, the more air slows its fall. Watch what happens when we reduce the surface area of our piece of paper. To bring the point home, here's some astronauts on the moon dropping a feather and a hammer. There's no air on the moon and thus no air resistance. With only gravity to determine their speed, they land at the same time. There's no better science than science on the moon. Well, there you have it kids, gravity. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. So obey the law for the goodness of science! Excellent. I now go to break the laws of gravity as I make this ball. This ordinary ball, float in midair. You won't. I will. Behold. Did you see the papers? No. What happened? The bank was robbed. And by a woman. No. A female felon? Yes. This gal robbed the place. But this gal wore a mask so no one knew who she was. Mm. And the cops couldn't find the gal who robbed the bank. So they went to a science teacher to ask for help. And you know what? Did he help? <laughs> he sure did. He told them. After stealing money, a woman will do her impression of a 15th century astronomer. She'll do what? He told the cops, a Galileo. <laughs> Get it? It's a Galileo. Galileo. 
Huh? That's not right. He was 16th century. <sighs> Say goodbye, Professor. Goodbye, Professor!